At the beginning of the semester, we always have these great intentions to be on top of everything and stay there. We have it planned out perfectly in our mind exactly how things are going to go. And we have this beautiful, rosy vision that everything is just going to succeed. But then you get started and overwhelm sets in and you become disorganized. Today, we are going to talk about how to get organized when you're overwhelmed. Most people don't really look for organizational tips when they are on top of things. They kind of need them once things start to go awry. So today, that's what we're talking about. How to get organized when you are already overwhelmed and disorganized. By the way, hi, I'm Terrell, and this is Absolutely Studying. I bootstrap my way through university while juggling a full-time job and a family, and it was tough, so I want to pay it forward. I want to provide you with all of the resources and support you need to flourish in your academic career. Today, we are talking about how to get organized when you're overwhelmed. If you are overwhelmed with your study habits, check out in the description, I have a study planner. It will help you plan and track your study sessions for the entire semester to make sure you get everything done. Pick it up, it's free and it's in the description. And let me know what is your best organizational tip in the comments below. The hallmark of being overwhelmed and disorganized is usually when it starts to manifest in your physical space. If you are looking around and you're overwhelmed and you're overworked and you're frazzled and you don't really know where to get started, look around and see if your physical surroundings are also disorganized. The first step to getting organized is to get your surroundings organized. So tidy your room, clean out your drawers, organize your laptop, clean out your phone. If you take these little steps to clean and declutter and tidy and have your surroundings organized, you're going to start to see that your headspace, your mind, your schedule will all start to become a little bit less overwhelming. Sometimes it's really, really hard to get up and just get the motivation to start, but you've got to start. You will not get motivation just sitting around. Motivation won't just sweep over you. You've got to get up. You've You've got to start seeing some progress before you really get energized to complete anything. So just get up, start getting your physical space around you organized and the rest will slowly follow. Next, you want to start paying attention to how you handle your time. If you start to chunk and organize your time and just spend deliberate attention on what you're doing in the time you have, it's also going to help you to manage things. A perfect example is if you're taking classes, you are expected to spend two hours of study time outside of class per hour you spend in class. So for a three credit hour class, you're spending six hours at home that week studying and reviewing the material. When you start looking at things in that sense, you can really start to organize and chunk your time. So go through, plan your week, figure out exactly what you need to do, break down each item into about a 15 minute block and start scheduling those blocks in. When I talk about those two hours worth of studying, break that down into 15 minute chunks. So maybe 15 minutes you're going to read, 15 minutes you're going to do flashcards, and another three 15 minute blocks you're going to write out notes. You can assign more than one 15 minute block to an item, but just as long as you have clearly defined neat blocks, write everything down on your to-do list, block out your time, and don't forget to include commuting time. So the time it takes you to get to work, the time it takes you to get to class, all of that account for your time, block it down, and you will start to see routine and organization follow. Next, we're going to want to talk about staying on top of things again. Stay on top of your homework. Don't let it pile up. Even if you come in after class and you have a massive assignment and you just open up a Word document and just start, just start 
writing down some ideas you have for it. Work on it 15 minutes a day. Just don't leave it to the last minute. Start on things right away, even if you can only make small incremental steps and work on them often. If you leave it to the last minute, it's just taking up room in your mind and cluttering it even more. Stay on top of your work, stay on top of your cleaning, and stay on top of your time. And finally, Take advantage of support systems. Lean on your friends and your family if they have any emotional or psychological support systems at your school or university. Make sure to take advantage of them. There's no shame in asking for help. And if your friends truly are your friends, they're going to allow you to lean on them when you need to. So don't take that for granted that people don't want to be there for you. Lean on them. You might be surprised that other people are struggling as well and they might appreciate your vulnerability because it gives them the opportunity to also be vulnerable. In the study planner that I mentioned at the top of the video, I also have an organizational checklist. It's going to help you to organize your time, organize your life, and you can take advantage of it when you download it in the description below. It also has a ton of study activities and study planning resources. It's chalked full. Pick it up and download it. It's free. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Thursday and they are always about homework tips, organizational hacks, and homework help to help you through the study struggle. I have a ton of resources on my website www.absolutelystudying.com and until next time, I hope you have an amazing adventure.